If you really love your chickens like I do, and if it's getting really hot where you're at, like it is here, and if your chickens are starting to really struggle in the heat, then you might have a kind of weird question popping into your head. Could I maybe use an air conditioner in the coop? And then you might have a second question pop into your head. Am I crazy? No, you're not or at least not any crazier than I am because I did use an air conditioner in my chicken coop during my first year with chickens. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about why I did that, how it worked for me, what I really wish I would have done differently and why I don't use an air conditioner anymore. So my first year with chickens, I made a grave mistake. And that mistake was that I thought that heat hardy chickens were actually heat hardy. And so, let me explain that. I read so much about chickens and chicken breeds and I looked at a lot of the specifications on breeds on hatchery pages and things like that. And I kept seeing that the chickens were heat hardy or heat tolerant. Uh, so I got barred rocks, I got Americanas, I got Rhode Island Reds my first year and they were all listed as heat hardy. And I had also read things about people in way, way hotter climates than where I live who were keeping these chickens and talking about just how great they were in the heat. The problem with this is, is that we are kind of in this transition right now. It's a really exciting period in chicken keeping because before now, people have really considered chickens just to be livestock. And now we're getting more and more people kind of thinking about them as pets and treating them more humanely. And so when I was reading that chickens were heat hardy, that comes from the opinion of people who viewed them more as livestock. And by that, they mean they're not doing well in the heat, they are surviving the heat, or at least they're surviving the heat when they're young. Because a lot of people who keep chickens as livestock do kill them when they're less productive at around two years old. And the way I wanted to raise my chickens was not so that they would probably survive or that most of them would survive. I wanted them to actually have a really good quality of life. So I thought my chickens were heat hardy when they weren't. And then the second grave mistake I made was that I listened to the horrible advice that I found pretty much everywhere that you should not insulate your coop or that there's no reason to insulate your coop. And the people who say this have probably never insulated their coop so they don't know what they're talking about, but they say that if your coop is really well ventilated, then insulating doesn't do anything because you've got so much airflow in there anyway that it's not going to keep it warmer in the winter or cooler in the summer. Also, a lot of people who make this claim come from areas that have a lot of shade and trees, and I do not. I live in southwest Idaho, and it is dry out here, and there are very few trees. We have trees in the creek bed, and that's it. So my chicken scoop was completely exposed to the sunlight and when you have an uninsulated chicken coop that's always in the sun it's like a furnace in there it heats up so badly so it is probably about 15 degrees warmer in the coop than it is outside at least 10 degrees and that means when you end up having 90 degree weather your coop is 100 degrees or over 100 degrees. My chickens were just being cooked alive in that coop. And we had never insulated anything before in our lives. We didn't have building skills even, so we didn't know what we were doing. We got on top of that right away, but it took a little time to figure everything out, get everything together and actually do it. So in the meantime, I got an air conditioner for the coop because I had First I'd put a box fan in there and it just wasn't doing it. And I was seriously worried for my chickens' lives. They were really, really struggling. So I just bought the cheapest air conditioner I could find off of Amazon and we installed it in the coop. So I'm gonna take you around to the front of the coop to show you. Cutie. So we've got in here Ethel Rose. We've got and down there's Thelma. Hi, Thelma. Are you singing? Um, all right, I'm actually going to turn off this fan. There, I've got it there in the background for you. So I was actually quite embarrassed that this air conditioner is still in here. It has been years, and I seriously thought that we had removed it and then sealed up that hole. 
which it's kind of crazy when you think about it because I thought we did that forever ago and I have been blind to this air conditioner. And so I was gonna come in here to show you guys where it had been because of the patchwork and I found it was still there. So yeah, kind of embarrassing. All right, I wanna show you the big mistake we made with this air conditioner. So there you can see their roosting bars and then you can see how high up that air conditioner was placed. And the roosting bars were a bit higher at the time. You can see this disgusting poop line along the wall. Yeah, I don't have one of those gorgeous coops that you see from a lot of YouTubers and bloggers. Uh, that poop line kind of marks how high the roosting bars had been. But the problem is that even when the roosting bars were higher, the air conditioner was just too high up. In our minds, we were thinking, oh, hot air rises so the cool air should come down and cool the coop. But it just didn't work that way. It just, the air came out and then it exited. We've got a lot of ventilation up near high in our coop around the walls here. Um, the air just exited so the cool, it was very, very cool in front of the air conditioner. It cooled off the coop a bit, but not a ton. Um, I mean, at the time it was definitely worth it. It cooled it off enough at those really high temperatures that it was worth putting this air conditioner in until we could make other arrangements with insulation and a fan that works well and that sort of thing. But I really, really wish we would have lowered that air conditioner so that it was blowing either at chicken level or below chicken level, either one of those. It would have made a lot bigger difference. So if you do get an AC, make sure you install it significantly lower in the coop so your chickens get the full benefit. The only major concern I had about the air conditioner is that it does get covered in dust because this is a chicken coop and where there's dust and electronics, there can be a fire hazard. So I was a bit nervous about that and I wasn't comfortable using it long term. I figured if we needed to use it long term that we would replace it every year or two. Another thing you could consider if you're handy is to use some duct work. So basically you'd want the electronic parts of the air conditioner on the outside and then have some duct work that blows that air through into the coop so that the electronic parts are protected from the dust. Not something that's in my skill set. But I never used the air conditioner again after that first year because I found that in the coop, Having it insulated using sand bedding and then having this fan back here, which is rated for is rated very high for dust protection. Those three things have made a giant difference in the temperature inside this coop. And then of course, if you can find a way to increase the amount of ventilation in your coop, that can make a big difference in cooling down your coop as well. So to learn more about ventilating your coop, check out my video here. Happy chickening.